Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Uh, yesterday, Apple announced iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus. We just finished recording the podcast where we talk about both of those things extensively. But our friend Jeremy Williams. Yeah, so these phones come out next week and they're not available right now. We weren't at the event. We weren't oh, able to see we're not special. what these phones looked like or felt like. But the big difference is they're different in size. They're bigger. There's a 4.7 inch and a 5.5 inch. So our friend Jeremy Williams uh, took it upon himself to model and print out 3D printed mock-ups of both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Well, he, he Plus. didn't model these. He downloaded the 6 Plus from Thingiverse and then scaled, and scaled the 6 the down. So the button placement isn't exactly right on the 6, probably. We're unsure about that. Um, the scaling on the, on the stickers on the front, also probably not exactly right. But the gist of how big the screen is in relation to the device is pretty much right on from everything we can tell. So, Will, you're holding your iPhone 5, a 4-inch phone, and this is a 4.7 inch, as you can see, compared to the 5. This is, again, based on dimensions that Apple has released on its website. Uh, the biggest thing is, is it's uh, clearly bigger. It is bigger. It's clearly going to be bigger. The 5 we thought was a great comfortable size to use one hand to well, navigate. You can, so, you can reach the entire phone with your thumb. This is something that Phil Schiller demonstrated on, on stage, either the 5 or the 5S launch. I can't remember which one. And then let's look at the... The six. The I have pretty up. good sized hands. I can reach from music to messages, but camera is just. Uh, if I if I do a kind of side grip, I can, but then I lose the bottom, so it's missing. And it's one of the things that they've added is the ability to double tap, not double press, but double tap the home button, and that'll scooch the whole screen down halfway. I think it's kind of a dumb feature. Yeah, it's also uh, a thinner phone, so this is a six point nine millimeters thick as opposed to this being 7.6 millimeters thick. Uh, you might not be able to notice also because of the printing, a little bit of warping, but if you lay them flat, it's like the, the most minor of differences. It's, it's basically indistinguishable. It's gonna feel thinner because of the beveled edges though versus the square edge. Yeah. Yeah. So the other phone was the 6 Plus and this is the one. This is the big boy. We're really curious about in terms of how it'll change people using their iPhones. The iPhone 6 Plus, this is basically the exact dimensions of what Apple has at least released. 7.1 millimeters thick, 5.5 inch screen. Compared to that five, oh it's enormous. That is really massive. My God, it's full wow. of stars. Um, now this one's just a little bit cut off on the ends because Jeremy's printer isn't quite big enough to print the whole phone. So, so there's a couple of millimeters on either end where there's no curve. It, normally it would be curved on the top and the bottom. Let's have you hold this. I have held this. I can't reach anywhere near the whole phone. If I'm holding it at the bottom and you do the double tap to pull everything out, I think they call it readability. readability. Mm -hmm. It's a dumb name. It's reachability. About reachability, sorry. You double tap it, you pull down, I'd be able to hit everything. I'm not sure about this, but it's gonna require, I, this is the phone I'm gonna get, assuming we can find availability next Friday. Um, I think you're gonna rearrange your icons so that the most used stuff is at the bottom edge rather than the top, which is how I do it on my current phone. And also have maybe use two hands. Maybe it's a two-hand phone. I, I'm not sure about either of these. I actually quite like the four, the old four-inch phone, um, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sold on the bigger phone. I, I'm not sure it's a good idea. So this is my OnePlus One, which also has a 1080p 5.5-inch screen and LCD. So they're going to be very comparable. Uh, if you've seen the OnePlus One in person or the Galaxy Note in person, it's going to have basically that screen but in a thinner form factor. This is, an, uh, I believe, an 8.9 millimeter thick phone, and this is 7.1. How do these fit in your pocket? Yeah, that's the, old, the good old pocket test. So, Norm, you're wearing skinny jeans. Right. Skinny jeans, Norm. I'm gonna take my wallet out. Okay, make some space. This is the six. The you're six. You're in your back pocket? The back pocket. You're a maniac. Comfortable. What about the front pocket? Front pocket? No problem. Huh, what, sit down, do a squat? That's not bad. Okay, so now six plus. Back, Back pocket. pocket. Of course that's gonna fit. Oh, sticking out, just like the one plus one. Wow. That and seems then, like a cracked phone right there. Oh yeah, that. It's so not gonna completely bulge. fit. Okay, so I have fat guy jeans on. Oh, that, no, look at this. That's let, let me, let me jabbing. Jabbing into my Your nethers. Groin? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Fat guy jeans, back pocket. No problem. It's just gonna go right in. Still sticks out. Still sticks. I have keys in there too, right. though. I would never do that in the real world. Front pocket. 
all the way Fat in. Fat guy jeans, it goes all the way in. I'm pretty sure I could sit with this in my pocket. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I think it's real big. It's a big change for iPhone. Uh, Norm, are you going to get either of these? Are you I'm not going to get all? either of these. Wow. We'll be testing both untested. So this is our early size comparison between the iPhone 5, the 6, and the 6 Plus. Thanks to Jeremy Williams for printing these out for us. I'm glad he did the labels. I don't have a printer at home, so I couldn't have done that. There we go. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Hello? Hello? Hello?